Hey guys, welcome back to Future Dimensions 360. As you know, in our last tutorial, we had discussed about custom hook. So officially from today's tutorial, we will be learning with the help of an example, how can we build a custom hook? In today's tutorial, we will be creating a custom hook that will allow us to update the title of a document. So for better understanding, understanding what I will do here is I will implement some sort of counters to update the document title. With the help of that example, we will learn how we need custom hook and where we will use it. Let's go ahead without wasting time to, into our code and try to start implementing our custom hook. How we can do that in our components file, let's components folder, let's create a new file called doc title1.js. RFC React functional component. Inside this component, I'll create a button and that button will say counter and then it will help me to show counter here. This counter I'll create by using use state hook const and counter comma set counter by using use state hook sorry use state hook with initial value zero so as soon as i'll click this button for example on click handler on click handler what i want here is set counter equals to counter plus one, I want to increment the value for the counter on each click. By using use effect hook, what I want here is, I want to update the count document title. I'll say document.title equals to a text called counter dash, and then I'll say dollar sign, and then counter value. This is what I want. Hit save. Let's import this counter into our app.js. I'll say doc counter, doc counter, doc title one. That's it. Let's go ahead to our Google Chrome or browser. Let's hit save. Let me click. You guys can see as soon as I'm clicking, the title for the document is getting incremented or resetted up again and again on each click with updated value of the counter. So this is for the first time. Let's see if we have another file with the same functionality called doc title 2.js. For saving time, I'll copy the code here and I'll just paste it here. Instead of one, I'll just change it to two. That's it. Let's import this one also into our app.js doc title two and hit save and go to our browser. Let's see what will be the impact of two counters. Now you guys can see I have two counters with exactly same functionality. Both of them, what they are doing is as soon as the button is getting clicked, they are updating the state variable of the counter by plus one and same that variable is updating the document title as well. Let's hit the counter and see if it is working. You guys can see it's working. What if I am clicking on the second one? See, it's again working very fine. But the thing is that here, what you guys are doing, you are implementing the counter functionality twice. Like you are duplicating the code multiple times. So this is what is not feasible. You can update these kind of code by using custom hooks. Here's like actually you can say here custom hooks come into the picture for the solution and opposing of this code duplication. How you can implement this by using custom hook. Let's go ahead and see in the source folder. I'll create another folder called hooks inside hook. I will say new file called use document title.js rfc react functional component i don't need react here i just need use effect hook here 
So what I want here is I want to say export default remove from here, make it down and choose document title will be exported here. That will take counter as an input and what it will do here, I will just cut this functionality from counter one and paste it here. So this is what the actual use document title or customer ho custom hook looks like. Here, what I can do is use document, document title, I'll call the hook and just I will pass the counter value. Similarly, I'll do the same thing here also. I'll just remove this use effect hook, use document title and I'll pass the counter value here. Remove use effect hook from here as well and use effect hook remove from here also. What we have done here is we had created a custom hook that calls use effect hook and that helps us to change the document title with the current value of the counter. So let's hit save and what I have to do here is I forgot to pass counter here as well. And I ultimately forgot to pass this counter when I was updating the use effect hooks here as well in both components. Make sure to not forget the dependencies. Let's go to our browser. Let's hit save and rerun it. As soon as I will click on my first button, you guys can see my document title is updating perfectly. Now I had clicked the second button. The second button is working perfectly. This is how you can achieve what the multiple functionalities with single custom hope like what you want for example this counter value if a customer wants you to update the document title with counter value in 100 different components so it's not a big deal for you to duplicate the value again and again it's very easy for you to do that by using use document title custom hook this is how you can use custom hook once again, I'll tell you in app.js, I, I had imported two different component, document title one and two. In document title one, I had created a state variable and then I had created a button that hits and click event, which helps you to increment the value of the counter. As soon as the counter value is incremented, there is a use effect hook available inside the use document title custom hook that is watching your counter value as a dependency as soon as the value got changed the document title will be updated this is how you can implement use custom hook i hope you guys understand it in case of any question and any query you can comment us in our video as well and you can reach us in our mailbox as well please don't forget to like and subscribe our channel we'll see you in the next video take care goodbye